Which president, who government, who never eat money before? Huh? Mm. They must leave Bushi, and let Bushi uh, be free. Let's watch the video. Just a minute. Let's watch it. Hello, everyone, and welcome right here to another video. Waiting, my mic they work. <laughs> Before this, okay, my mic is working. How are you people doing? Hope you are doing fine. Okay, so today we are talking about two really significant people in the Christian dom. And just before I continue, I read, I've been reading some comments since I came back. It's like, ah, you guys have been making videos about politics. I don't see some of these, sorry, I'm going to call you guys brainless, who, I don't see some of you comment on the political segments I get to discuss only when I talk about religious whatever. But you guys just wake up from wherever you are and then you start writing what to what in the comment but anyway don't worry this is another one again and i'm looking forward to reading your comment i mean to those who still don't have a sense to get the things we discussed today now today i'll be talking about the person of um, Nana Poku and Prophet Bushiri. So I'm going to be doing a mashup of a video right now. And remember in our last video we looked at, I told you guys I was going to talk about the Miracle Money video. Aha. So some of you saw that video where Nana Poku was doing Miracle Money. Aha. So today I'm going to be doing an analysis on that video he posted. And I asked the question in that last video, I was asking you guys, how come your pastors come to church? They do miracle money for you. Now, when it comes to the concept of miracle money, there are different ideologies to the concept of miracle money. Later, again, I'm promising, I'm going to make another video looking at what different pastors who preach miracle money have said about the subject and the different aspects of it. But this aspect I'm looking at right now, Banana Poku, is the one that has to do with commanding money physically to appear, all right, from nowhere into the bag, as you could see in that video. Now, I'm going to also go to Bushiri, but let's look at this one first. Now, take a close look at this video as it's playing right now on your screen and watch what happens, okay? If you can tell me the analysis before it ends, that's amazing. But I'm going to give you a comment after the video, please. This is the miracle. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you have money in your bag? Let's come in. No. Remove everything in the bag. Keep a young, young kingdom. We have some people there. Remove, we'll we'll remove everything. Keep a mom. Remove everything. Keep a young mom. Great. Uh -huh. Omega, take everything. Check on the zip. Check the zip side. Omega, open the. Uh -huh. We have some people, they do tricks in church. Nana Poku, what I don't want to do is doing tricks. No. The power of God is in me. Yes, you don't need to take do everything hey, in the church. Yes, Lord. I just want to know if the woman has money or not. What is the woman let her talk Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Omega. Papa. You are my son. Stand here. Put the handkerchief aside. The guy has been threatening this man, this woman serious. That turns out to say some Hallelujah. Amen. He has been threatening this woman serious. I'm not to say it. Omega, check the bag. Turn the bag. Turn it. Let everybody see. There's Jesus. nothing inside. I wanna see, Pelabon. Okay, fine. Hallelujah. Amen. Omega, you have turned the bag again. Turn it back again. You open the zip, everything. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Children of God. But I'm with him. In the house of God, we don't do magic. Yes. We don't do tricks. Father, I thank you by the power of Holy Spirit. Jesus. Yes, Lord. You are after the Omega. Jesus. I'm not talking about this Omega. <laughs> I'm talking about Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Let your miracle take place. Power. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Uh, see, everybody see you. Yes, Papa. Everybody see. La bona. People on Facebook. La bona. They are checking everything. La bona. See, there's a zippo. There's no nothing inside. I want to sip. See. Father, I thank you. Yes, Lord. By the power. Jesus. 
You are the one who can command what is not there to come. He is slowed. You do miracle money. Jesus. This woman, when she goes home, it may be like the man can come midnight and damage her. Yes, Jesus. Lord. But God, let your miracle take place. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. See my hands. Amen. Amen. Now, before I continue talking, let me try to explain this to most of you, okay? <laughs> now, look at the way as he's going right now to go and meet the woman to open the bag. From the way the bag is going to be opened right now, you'll see that the woman herself opened the bag, is, opens the bag in a particular pattern, holding on to the left side of the bag, according like from her position, which is going to be your right side, the place where you have the zip in the bag, inside the bag, while she was pouring out the, the things that she has in her bag. Let's look at it right now together. Now, I don't need anyone to even tell me that this one right here is very much organized. These two men you see by the side, actually, the one you see holding the mic next to the woman is also a prophet on his own. Maybe I'll look at him later in another video. But all we see right there, Omega, they know exactly what is going on. You see that Omega is going to open the bag, but he opens the zip, closes it. But when he's turning over the bag, because you have to look at this again with a critical eye. I, but let's go on. When he opens the back and turns it over, he doesn't open the zip. The only time he gets to open the zip or you see the content of that zip right there, or would I say the emptiness of that zip right there, is when Nanam Poku might have finished putting his hands inside the bag before doing his bracadabra. So the time that Nana Poku, Poku himself, after saying all what he said and went back to the bag again, you understand put his hands and was saying in jesus name this and this that was when he was opening the bag removed the money that was in that particular zip inside placed it inside the bag and that was the only time he showed you that that particular zip inside the bag is empty note right now as you can see them right now look at him right now as he's putting his hand inside he hasn't shown you whether the zip in the bag right there is actually empty look at that so he turns the bag right now over look at it closely all right there's a zip right there on the side so he's showing that there's nothing inside the bag but that zipped place right there he hasn't opened it to show you if there is anything inside even though um nana Puki himself has asked him if he has checked the zip that everything that there's nothing inside now the time he takes his hand right now to the back look at it closely is when he gets to open that particular zip is still his hand is towards that right side Look at right now, his hand is towards that right side. That's when he gets to open it. Look at where his hand is going to, towards the same direction. Opens it, then puts the money right inside the bag. And this is when he's going to show you right now that that particular zip right now, he has put the money inside the bag right now. He's going to show you that that particular zip now is empty. He never showed that from the beginning of the video. Watch right now. You see, now that he's showing that that particular zip is empty, from the beginning, he never showed you that. So right now, the money is already inside. So right now, when he, what he's doing right here is just gimmicks. When he now takes his hands inside, you see even the way the money itself comes out, the money itself was wrapped. So he has to, you know, use his hands to separate the money before bringing it out. Those people you see behind there, they know exactly what is going on. And this is, I don't know, and this is online right here, and people are being deceived like this. Look at that. Why, look, do you, are you getting it? You see that even some of the monies themselves are still like folded and all that. Can you see that? Can you see that? Let's go back to me now, talking. Now, if your brain is working, because you see, when I try to make 
trends make sense. When I see these things you post on social media, that's why you see some, I see some children, some, I don't know where, what happened to Africans? I see some people come in the comment and say, your work is only to expose uh, 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 men of God, or your work is only to, to find faults in people. Hey, you yourself, let me ask you a question. Would you intentionally sit down and be posting, intentionally sit down and be posting your faults online? Think about that for a moment. Will you yourself take hundreds of pictures and then just post anyone online? Won't you sit down and select the ones that, you know, look, you look dope, your leg has curved, even the waist where you know get, you have done curve, you have added curve there, all the things we do to make ourselves look good. Do you think the video you're watching now, this is how it looks originally? Come on, I've done some editing behind the scenes to make myself look like the fine boy I am trying to be. So if you get this point right now, this video was intentionally made by the pastor himself to show his pro as the miracle money working pastor let me ask you a question why is it that after emptying the bag showing you guys that the bag itself is empty why is it that he had to put his hand in doing the miracle and then hover around hover around the bag before telling him to <laughs> Think about that for a moment. It was already there in the back. Now you will see some of his children right now, or those who believe in this quote unquote trick right now in the comment defending. You will see some of them. There might be some of them right now, you see. Maybe because it's not your pastor or because it's not your man of God, you'll be like, oh, let me keep quiet too. Uh -huh. But when I talk about your man of God, like the <laughs> Omega children that are here, I mean the Omega, I mean Omega Fire Ministry children that are here, you see them in the comment typing with the water. So please defend Nana Puku for me, all right? Okay, but if you look at that, that was just a simple trick. Oh, well, let me tell you something. The religious industry is a very booming industry. If you do not understand this, <laughs> some of you that say, hey, George, you are using this people to cash out, or you are using this people. I think what you should be doing is focusing on the value I'm bringing to you, the sense I'm giving to you, than looking at if I am cashing out or not cashing out. Because in the end, what matters more to me as a content creator, is that I'm able to make these things make sense to you so that you're able to see through them. Because the same person would come online and be asking you guys to give him donations. If you can command and pray for monies to appear, like, come on, Jesus turned water into wine. Jesus converted five loaves of bread and two fishes to feed thousands of people. What are they trying to show you of themselves in this aspect of working the miraculous? Think about that for a moment. And yet still, by this time, you still don't have sense. It's not the same person that was conjuring money into someone's account through bank alert, miracle money. But before he did that, he was asking for how many percent of the money. Oh, come on. I, you, are not still, you are still not thinking. And all of these things are happening in churches that are being posted here on social media. And you right now might be one of those pastors small pastor trying to come up somewhere who would copy this thing or maybe copy this trick to do to your members because you see that this trick right now or this particular thing pulls crowd brings attention like i always say attention remains currency any way you look at it the more attention your pastor has defines how much people gullible people are going to flow in there and how much money is going to come into his account why because these people look at him as someone that that is you know the problem solver, the miracle worker. The same applies in every sphere. We have been talking about Peter B, Tinubu here, and then Atiku, and then all the political stuff we have been discussing right here. How much attention you are able to control as a politician defines how much people are going to invest and trust in you as a viable candidate. But we are going to be talking about politics in my next video because there are some things I need to really break down. What point am I trying to make right now? Let's go to the person of Bushiri. We are going to come back to Nana Poku again. <laughs> Show, 